All right, so Gratitude Guy with another special guest. My special guest today is Dr. Morgan Oaks, a good friend of mine, and he is here, and welcome, by the way. Yeah, thank you for having me. You bet, you bet. So Morgan is here, as always, to answer that question I love so much. Morgan, what are you grateful for? You know, I'm uh, partially, I'm just always grateful for my great gratitude practice. Mm. You know, it's how I finish my night, I lay down to bed, and it allows me to go back through my whole day and go, what was amazing? And just start collecting all those, those points of, you know, things I might not think about if I just crawl into bed and don't do it. So my gratitude practice is something I'm actually grateful for. Excellent. Now, how long have you done that? You know, it's been off and on for probably the last five, six years. Mm -hmm. yeah. And have you noticed, could you tell specifically, I talk about a gratitude journal where I can write in and all of a sudden my daily number goes from a seven to a nine. Have yeah. you seen and felt the literal difference in the day that, that in the way that will make you feel for that day? Yeah, I think that it does help along with, right, we have all those other things that we also do and I just feel like the gratitude practice is a solid piece of it. Mm -hmm. And I know here recently in the last month or so, I was having a day where a lot of stressors were showing up. There's a lot of things going on in my life and I just went outside, I went on a walk and the kind of A to Z gratitude practice, mm -hmm. were like letter A, what's the letter A thing that oh, I'm nice. grateful for? And I had to go all the way to like the letter N or O before I felt good. And so it wasn't just three gratitudes, it was like, I'm going to keep working my way through the alphabet until I feel better. Wow. So I just think it's a powerful tool, you know, that to keep us up above the, the stress, but also when, you know, life happens and you're down underneath it, how do you pull yourself back up? So, mm -hmm. yeah. I love that. I don't think you've ever told me that, the gratitude A to Z. That's really cool. And tell me something else too. I know it's just from recent conversations. You're yeah. thinking about you're shifting over from your practice to doing speaking and, and bigger things. How did gratitude play a part in that? I think I'm grateful for all the personal growth that I've been through. And it all hasn't been physical body stuff. It's been mental, emotional, it's been spiritual. And for all the people that have helped me kind of level up in all these different aspects of my life, I was really grateful for that and I wanted to you know, pay that forward. Nice. and be a part of that. So I think that really ties into my, my big picture of how do I empower people, how do I motivate people, how do I inspire people, and how do I ultimately help them you know, get to that place where they're living the life they want. Nice, yeah. nice. Well, there you go again. I talk about these special guests I enjoy so much. Always something to learn. Morgan talks about a gratitude practice. He talked about A to Z, how he ended up wanting to actually impact more lives in a different way as he's kind of switching from one practice to another. So always enjoyable. Morgan, thank you so much for being a special guest. Yeah, my pleasure. Great to be here. You bet, you bet. So stay tuned next week. Of course, we'll have another guest. And remember, be grateful and never quit. Take care. Thank you.